here with Matt McCracken from the University of Richmond. Matt, welcome to CA Football Media Day. Thank you. Now you uh, have gotten uh, headed head in the season a lot of acclaim on the pretty much consensus preseason All-American, and uh, talk about some of your expectations and goals coming into the season. Yeah, you know, it's a great year to, to come into the CAA. It's, it's a, you always expect high expectations out of all, all the competition. You know, we have a lot of great teams that play in this conference, and week week in and week out. It's a great conference to play in. Yeah. Now, last year, one of your uh, fellow offensive linemen, Michael Silva, scored a touchdown. And uh, how much room has he taken from the the offensive line guys? And uh, you're not jealous at all about him scoring a touchdown instead of you, are you? Yeah, it's always a dream of an offensive lineman to score a touchdown, you know. But it, it never really comes true. Mike, for Mike, it came true. And uh, you know, we, we kind of talk about ourselves as a, as a family on the football team and a really tight-knit group on the uh, offensive line. And I can say that definitely the, the guys on the offensive line are a little jealous as uh, so well as uh, happy for Mike. Yeah. Now you guys, uh, you've got a veteran offensive line back and a veteran quarterback back with Eric. Talk about uh, how much it means, especially from an offensive line standpoint, having some familiarity with the guys that you're up front. And, yeah. it, it means everything on an offensive line. I mean, everything you do is, is combinations, and it's, it's, it matters what the guys next to you do. And you have to, you have to play as a uh, – you know, if you play as five loose fingers, you know it's it's not it's not as uh, strong as uh, a tightly clenched fist. Go back to uh, Chattanooga for me last December and what it was like uh, hoisting that national championship trophy and, and going through the experience of winning a national championship. It, it was unbelievable. I mean, it's truly breathtaking. It, you know, it's something you dream about from when you're playing backyard football from you're a little kid. You're playing for that national championship, and uh, it, it really, when it comes true, it's 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 something that's very special. But in football, you got to be greedy. You know, it, this is a new year, and uh, we, we, we strive to want to uh, win another one this year. Has it been any different for you this summer, knowing you're defending national champs? Is, 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 obviously, you're not in the underdog role anymore, but how has that changed your summer preparation or your spring ball? Was it any different? A little different. We, we know we have the bullseye on our back now. Everyone's gunning for us. But, uh, you know, you prepare hard every week, and you pre prepare hard every summer. So it, it's, it's, uh, this is a great conference, and you, you have to bring your A game every week. Now, what's it like? Uh, as an offensive lineman, is there a favorite part to use? Is it going back and pass blocking for Eric? Because you guys are certainly good at that. Or do you prefer uh, road grading and, and running over people for the run game? I think the offensive line always pre prefers the road grading and uh, getting down and dirty in the trenches. Yeah. Um, certainly, the uh, social media fan is real big. I know, uh, the, you know, the University of Richmond's got a big t Twitter account, and the CA does too. Do you do anything with Twitter or Facebook or any of that type stuff? Uh, I'm not on Twitter, but uh, maybe it's a new outlet for. Uh, media. Trying to get the message across. Matt, thanks for your time today. Enjoy Media Day. Thank you.